Okay, uh, from the advice of Ismail Adviso, I made a three-cap uh, output circuit. I guess I'll call it that. And the way it works is you have one cap that's filled, like from the uh, flyback and or the generator coils. And this is filled continuously, always. And you have a switch that uh, bridges it, parallels it into the middle cap here. I call that the switch cap. This is the fill cap. And then there's a switch that disconnects it. Well, it will be disconnected, and then you connect to the third cap, which is I call the load cap. So when, so like, let's say you have a pulse motor hooked here, or this could be a battery too. This is how you uh, loop the uh, flyback collected into caps back into the battery if you want to do that. And uh, I'm going to have this cap run a second motor is what I want to do with this. So this is the load. And so you, obviously you don't have these switches on at the same time. It's like you have this one happen and then you have this one happen. Not at the same time. So what's nice about this is this cap is always being filled. There's no off time when you're not filling a cap from the flyback which would be dangerous if all of a sudden you stop filling a cap now the spikes could damage something so this cap the first caps always being filled and when you hit when the load happens it's disconnected so it's a clever little circuit very simple so I made one here and I have these, for the switching, I have a solid state relays. Also, I think Oli was the one who told me that you should have a inductor, a coil, before you fill the cap, and then a diode, <clears throat> a ductor and a diode, because there will be a really heavy inrush of current, and it'll it won't be very efficient when you fill up the caps but this is supposed to be 95 percent efficient so basically I have this these solid state relays this side is the trigger side and this one has its own Hall effect and this one has its own Hall effect so I'm gonna have a uh, two Hall effects at uh, 90 degrees apart and then on a timing disc at 180 degrees will be a couple trigger magnets so it'll be one one will fire and then the other one will fire and then the other one will fire and the other one will fire and so uh, and I have and you can see here I have this is the one I'm gonna hook the the generator coils and the flyback into call it the fill this one is going to switch into this one I call this the switch cap so this is kind of the in-between one <clears throat> and then this one will switch into this cap and that's what I call the load cap and each of these is 1400 UF and these relays are only rated for 60 volts but 40 amps and so I hope uh, they're going to be okay I have some others that go to high voltage but I'm going to try these first so so there is that and hopefully this is going to be a real neat circuit where generator coils and the flyback never really sees the load it's uh, another name for this is the bucket brigade it's like when they put out fires in the old days they had buckets of water and a long string of people and you pass it along 
So that's what this is doing. It's, it's passing the capacitor from one into the other. Also, um, let's say you have 50 volts in the fill cap. And now when you dump it into the switch cap, now you're going to have 25 in each. And then when you dump it into the the switch cap into the load cap, now you're going to have like 12 and a half in each. At least this is the way it's going to be, I assume. And um, what's good about that is this doesn't go down to zero, the fill cap. It's If this is 50, it's going to have 25 volts in it. So when it refills next cycle of the uh, DC coming into it, it's going to uh, already have 25 volts, so it's going to have uh, be much easier to fill than if it was down to zero. And uh, so we'll see. I, uh, I want to, these motors I have, they, uh, I have them so they run on really low voltage, six volts or so we'll see how this works pretty soon, probably tomorrow. I'll be testing it out. Okay, thanks a lot for watching.